I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is October 1st, 2016, and in this video I'll be going over how to fix your Wi-Fi on your local computer if you are connected to your network via Wi-Fi, but you're not getting internet access. Okay, now what do I mean that you're connected to your Wi-Fi, but you're not getting the internet? So in this example, I set up another router that's sitting here and has Wi-Fi, but it's not connected to the internet at all, so there's no way to get to the internet. So, at least in Windows 7, if I go look over here, I'll see that I have this yellow I icon and I have no internet access. And so I might click on here and it says it's connected right there, but it's connected to the Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi, in this case, is not connected to the internet. But what I had before and what you may be having is you may have a Wi-Fi network uh, your, where your router is working just fine, your Wi-Fi is just working just fine, and you can prove that on several machines that you can connect via Wi-Fi and it's working just fine. But on your particular machine, um, it's not working. So in my in my real case, I got several machines throughout the house, and they're all connected to the Wi-Fi, and they're all working just fine, except for this one. So what you would do in that case, I'll give you the simplest case. Uh, in Windows 7, you can go down here and do a search for Device Manager. And open up Device Manager. And basically, what we're going to do is reinstall the drivers. So I can go down here and go down to Network Adapters. And every machine is going to be a little different because people will have different um, Wi-Fi. Uh, you'll have different Wi-Fi tools on your box. So what you want to do is look through here and find the one that most likely is your Wi-Fi controller. And in my case, it's an Intel Wi-Fi Link 1000 VGN on this machine. And what you're going to want to do is right-click on that and uninstall it. And so it'll warn you about that uh, and just uninstall it. Yeah, just hit OK. It'll remove it. Once it removes it, uh, then you want to reboot your computer. And when you reboot your computer, it will reinstall the drivers. And that might solve most of your problems. In fact, um, in most cases, it will. So I just want to show this simple example first before I go on to anything else. Now, Everyone's situation is a little different, and everyone's setup's a little different, so I'm not going to be able to give you every single solution, but here are these are some that will hopefully work for most of you. And I'll just let that uninstall here. So now I go down here, and I can see that it's been removed. And I believe if I go down here, I'll see that I have no network connection because I've basically turned off access to my Wi-Fi. Uh, I've removed the software that runs the Wi-Fi on the, the Wi-Fi chip on this particular computer. Now, I would suggest just rebooting. It'll reinstall it. But in this case, I really can't record a reboot. Um, and this might work for you, but I'd probably suggest rebooting. I can go up here on Network Adapters, right-click on this, and scan for hardware changes. And that should see that there is a Wi-Fi there. Uh, it should find the right tools. It should reinstall it, which would be the same as if you did a reboot. but and it's easy enough to reboot, right? And you can see down here, it's installing the device drivers. And we'll just let it get that done. And there we go. If we go back in here, you'll see that now that's reinstalled. And hopefully that fixes most of you. And if that's it, get on with your life. Stop the video and go on. Uh, if not, uh, there are a few other things that I tried. And I'll kind of go through my situation and what I did. Okay, now for my real situation. Now... When we moved over here, we started using my mother-in-law's router, which seemed to work just fine. And so the Wi-Fi connection, I'm, I'm far enough away, but it was working okay. But we had a problem talking to our Wi-Fi um, printer here. So I kept having issues with that. And so I kept fighting with that, trying to figure it out. Eventually, I gave up and said, okay, let me just use my router, which works a lot better. Um, a little bit better setup in, in general. So I, I installed it. Everything was running just fine. But... Then I came back with my old problem. Now, my old problem was the Wi-Fi on this computer I'm using right now never particularly liked that new router. Um, but luckily, in my old apartment, uh, the router was right next to my workstation, so I just plugged in the Ethernet anyway, uh, which I want to do, which I, I'd rather do that anyway because I get faster speed, especially since I'm talking to another server uh, located in the house when I'm backing up things. So it's, it's faster than the Wi-Fi. Uh, but I don't have that option right now, uh, at least not until I wire this whole house up, which is on my agenda. Um, 
So I'm kind of back to where I was before, where the Wi-Fi from this computer to my current router, it's just flaky. Now, the Wi-Fi on every other system in this house is fine. You know, I got a PS4, not a problem. I got an Apple TV, not a problem. I have a um, print HP printer back here, not a problem. I have a couple of Mac machines, not a problem. And so they're all just working fine. And so I think I just have a disconnect where there's something, some little nuance that I can't quite figure out that this machine just doesn't like that router. They just don't play well with each other. So my solution to that was, okay, let me go buy. Um, they have these USB Wi-Fi modules and they're cheap and they're kind of cool and they're only 10 bucks. And worst case, I figured if it doesn't work. I might keep it and save it around for some other purpose. Like if I get a um, Raspberry Pi or something like that. And for 10 bucks, I can't go wrong. So I ordered it. Uh, and so we'll go through the install process here. I'll show you what, what uh, I did. It might work for you. For me, it kind of worked, but not well enough where I was happy. So um, I ordered this one in particular, this Edimax. Uh, gives me a Wi-Fi in. So I got it in this little box here. And then I had like just a little USB dongle. So very small. Uh, and plugged it in. Of course, when you plug it in, it tries to find the device drivers, which I don't know if it's going to find it right now because I have installed it before. I don't know if it keeps those around. I did uninstall it, but typically in your case, when you're starting out, it's not going to find them. So you could probably download them from their site, or in this case, they include a little tiny CD-ROM, which I have a CD-ROM here, so I'll load it up, and we'll show you the install process, which is fairly simple. Okay, and there we go. So here we have this. No driver software. But device driver software was not successfully installed, which is what we expect. But now well, we've got this CD, so we'll go open it. Okay, so this pops up. We'll just do the auto run. We want to, they haven't installed it, automatically pops up. And this is it. And it's pretty simple. So we'll just kind of go through their process. So I guess just click on that and then install the driver. That's all you need. Oh, I clicked it too fast, so. I'll just close those out. So now the install shield is opening and it's actually installing the driver. Okay, click next, next, and we'll let it install. Okay, we can see it down there installing the device driver software now. Still installing something. Okay, so now I'm going to go open up my device manager again. And I'm going to turn off uh, the old Wi-Fi. I'm going to disable it. So I'll go back here. This is my old Wi-Fi driver that I don't... If I'm going to use this guy, I no longer need. So you can right-click on that and disable it. So we're not uninstalling it. We're just disabling it. I'll click yes. Um, <clears throat> okay, now we're back to the... The USB stick. So do I want to restart my computer? Normally you would, but I'm going to say no, just so I can, can finish videoing. So we'll finish and come on device manager. And so now you can see I'm disabled. I should have done. Yeah. Okay. That's disabled. And here is my nano adapter. And I think it should be running now. So I'll make sure and let's see if I can attach to, uh, okay, I'll attach to my normal router. So now it should be attached. Uh, I'll open up a new thing. I'll search for a speed test. It looks like Google now has a nice little speed test on their page. Oh, I might not get internet. Oh, there we go. I'm connected and I have no access. So when I did this, 
it was a little, it, it worked somewhat and somewhat it didn't. It, it had the same issues that my other one did. Now for you, it might solve it. Uh, but for me, it would connect and then it would disconnect. But right now you can see I'm connected. I have no internet. So in this case, this nano did not help me, but for 10 bucks, it was a good try. And, um, I don't feel bad about trying it. I just wish it had worked. Um, and if I fiddle with this long enough, I will get it to connect. And if I do a speed test, the speed's just really, really low. And that could be because of, you know, I don't have, there's not much of an antenna on that USB. Um, and I'm also far away. So it could be a combination of the two. I don't know. But right now, oops, thinking again. Okay. So there's another thing you can try. Okay, a third way to fix this, um, which is the way I did, is actually working for me, is to get a network extender. Now, it's kind of essentially like buying a new Wi-Fi router, but it's still cheaper. Now, I could have bought a new Wi-Fi router, and that may have fixed everything, uh, because it maybe it would play well with everything. But my worry with doing that was twofold. What if I bought a new router, and now I introduce a new problem. The new router will work with everybody, but not with my printer or something weird. I mean, chances are you'd be fine. Probably would fix it, but it might cost be more expensive. And I wasn't quite sure. Because um, really for me, I have some kind of incompatibility with the Wi-Fi on this box and the Wi-Fi router. Uh, so what I did, um, well, and that could all, it could be that. And it could also be the fact I'm so far away. I think it might be a combination of the two. So... I bought a Wi-Fi extender, and I'm kind of glad I did because, boy, they're a lot cooler than they used to be. Um, so I kind of got impatient, and I went up to the store and probably spent about twice as much as what I can get for what I could buy it for on Amazon. But this is what I got, this Netgear A7750. And so basically what it is, it's kind of another router that attaches to your router. So I could put it halfway in between where I am right now and where the real router is, have this connect to the router and then I can connect to this. I'm kind of like piggybacking over. Um, now there's a lot to install this, so I'm not going to go over it in this video. I'm going to make a new video showing how to set up and install this Netgear AC750. And so I'll put a link to that right now. Uh, but just to let you know that it worked for me. Uh, so if you're still having problems uh, or you want to learn more about Wi-Fi range extenders, then go click on this video and go check it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username patmandenver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.